Good afternoon. This is Elaine Rector with the Skew Vault Seller Spotlight Podcast, where e-com entrepreneurs and business owners share advice. We talk about the crazy world of e-commerce, the challenges associated with it, and how to stay successful. Today, I'm talking with Christian. So Christian, in a few sentences, would you mind to tell us who you are and what you do? Sure. My name is Christian Schwindel. I'm a partner at Reveal Agency, as well as the Director of Finance and Operations. I have a background in digital advertising and then moved my way into management and then have now made the transition to the agency side. Great. How did you get started in e-commerce? I started by pursuing a business degree. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do, but I knew that I wanted to do something related to business. Um, my first job out of college was an assistant to the marketing director at that company. About six months later, I moved to a much larger business and entered there as a display advertising specialist, uh, running about a $2 million sales channel. Obviously, I didn't have a background in programmatic display, so I had to learn it very quickly to ramp up in about a month's time to be ready for the very seasonal holiday business that that business had. And that gave me the confidence to be able to learn something quickly, and then I refined my processes to maximize my time management. And from there, I took on more and more responsibility, and had a few promotions internally, and then was managing, got to the point where I was managing a team of five for that business, running all digital marketing and responsible for $125 million in annual sales, having a pocketbook of about $13 million, uh, which was interesting because it made personal budgeting a real challenge with so few zeros, but it was an awesome opportunity and uh, it was a, a great way to get introduced to the world of e-commerce and business. Absolutely. That's a really interesting story. It sounds like you've had your hands in a lot of different um, pieces of the pot there. Definitely. Um, what do you think is the most challenging part of e-commerce today? In my experience, it's the lack of being able to become really good at anything, which I feel is also the easiest part of e-commerce. Everything just changes so quickly in terms of tools and services, best practices, and even opportunity. If you put your mind to it, you can learn the majority of what you can learn about any aspect of e-commerce pretty quickly compared to most other industries and roles, but you can also just as quickly lose it. I've been out of the paid ads advertising space for about two years now, and I would have to spend some significant time to get fully caught up to where it is now. So it's both the exciting and to me, the most frustrating part of e-commerce. Sure. And that being said, what's the best advice that you could give an e-commerce entrepreneur entrepreneur to stay successful? My advice would be stay hungry. Uh, don't be afraid to take on new work, to take on new opportunities. Always be a student learning as much as you possibly can. Uh, you, you'll never know how you may use those things. Right. Um, so this next part is your opportunity to promote someone else to the show. What other top professionals in the e-com industry like yourself should be on the Skew Vault Seller Spotlight podcast? Sure. Uh, a couple come to mind that I've worked with uh, in the past. Oscar Castro is actually recently uh, moved to Pier 1. He's the SVP of e-commerce there. He's a risk taker. He has ideas to back up some of the most exciting and memorable marketing campaigns of the past 10 years. If you remember Kmart's Ship My Pants commercial, he was crucial in that actually getting to air. Cool. Uh, another one would be Cameron Gabriel. Most recently, he's been the e-commerce merchandiser at Harry and David, which is a subsidiary of 1-800-Flowers. He's become a true expert at e-commerce merchandising and optimizing the customer experience on the website. And then the last one would be actually my business partner, Alex Poitras. Uh, he's the managing partner at Revealed. He has a storied background with e-commerce companies, several of them his own personal businesses. He's a great resource on a variety of e-com related topics, including Amazon.com, regulated industries like the health and wellness space, and he's an expert in lead funnels and email series, which, as we all know, are crucial to e-commerce. Sure. Thank you so much for all of that information. We can circle back up as well after and, um, and kind of connect there. Um, for my most important question, do you mind telling us about your first real roadblock that you hit in e-commerce? What did that look like and what did you do about it? Sure. The first roadblock that I really hit in my career was about three years after I had started my career and I was responsible for about $40 million of sales that year, which included some year over year growth. And I was also expected to spend less than the year before. It's always a great combination of make more money and spend less at the same time. Sure. 
So I, I generally tend to look at business things pr from a pretty binary standpoint. There's only so many variables you can change. So I really had to figure out how to lower costs and increasing it by in and increasing efficiency at the same time. So most of this was through our affiliate program. We had base commissions on sales and then we also had a sizable budget for additional paid placements on top of that. So one of the things that I did was to lower the base commissions, that fixed rate, which was one of the variables, and then started paying more for the placements that really got us the extra money. And so the affiliates net got about the same payout, uh, roughly, assuming that they had no growth, but we had the tools then to be able to fine tune what, where that growth happened and what it looked like. And so the end result for that year was we actually increased our performance by 30% that year. So we ended up spending more budget, but we made significantly more in sales uh, at the same time. Awesome. That's an incredible story. Um, do you mind then to tell us the best way to find you and any promotions that you guys have? Sure. Uh, you can find me on LinkedIn, linkedin.com forward slash Schwindle C. Uh, and I'm also, uh, one of, again, one of the partners at Reveal. So our, our agency's website is reveil.agency, R-E-V-E-I-L. And we've also been putting out some webinars with some free resources to business owners, uh, big and small businesses. We just had a webinar yesterday. We've got another one coming up in a couple weeks. Um, so definitely check that out. Uh, get in touch with me on LinkedIn, connect, and uh, look forward to seeing you there. Awesome. That's definitely a good opportunity to get in on some webinars while everything is kind of virtual and at home at this time. So um, we'll definitely tag you in there so that anybody watching can go ahead and connect via our tags. So really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Um, again, this is Elaine Rector with the SKU Vault Seller Spotlight Podcast. If you're an entrepreneur and work in any, working in e-commerce, I would love to have you on my show. Um, in addition, to find out how SKU Vault can elevate your e-commerce business through inventory management, feel free to message me now. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining us. And until next time, happy selling.